Hey guys, Susan Thomas here, and today I want to teach you how to make a basic ring using a bead and some wire. One of the things that everyone is always asking me to make is a ring. And so I want to teach you guys how to make a basic ring using a bead or gemstone and some wire, because I think you'll find that as you're making jewelry, you'll get a lot of requests for rings. Now, you're going to need some very simple supplies. First of all, you have to have 20 gauge wire. Doesn't matter whether you use craft wire or precious metal wire, whatever you want. I have got some 20 gauge craft wire here in silver and gold. And then you're also going to need one bead. Really simple, just something that you like the looks of. Because when you make a ring like this, what everyone is gonna see is the really cool bead on top. So just make sure you get something that you like and you think is really pretty. I have a little oval and it's a gemstone. It's a piece of labradorite, but you can use anything you want. You're also gonna need a few tools. You're going to need a ring stick so you get the size right. And you're going to need a pair of chain nose pliers and a pair of flush cutters. Okay, so let's get started. All right, to get started making a basic ring, what you need to do is you need to take some 20 gauge wire and you need to pull off about two feet of wire. I'm gonna cut that with my flush cutter right here. That's gonna be a little bit more than you need, but you wanna make sure you have enough to make the ring. Next step is to take your bead or gemstone and put it on the wire. And you're gonna wanna center that on the wire. And then I'm gonna take my wire and I'm going to bend it down on either side of the bead so that the bead is gonna sit up on top of the wire and the wire is gonna come down to the sides. After that, you're gonna to need to get your ring stick and you're gonna to need to know your ring size. So if you're going to make a size seven ring, then you're gonna to wanna to start working at the size eight because as you work with this wire, it kind of shrinks up about one full size. So I need a size seven ring. I'm gonna start working at the size eight on the ring stick. And if you look at your ring stick, you can see those numbers all the way along there. And the smaller the stick gets, the smaller the size. So on this particular one, you can make as big as a size 14, or as small as a size one. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take that stone and you're gonna put it right on top of the size where you're working. And then you're gonna to have to wrap these wires around the ring stick. So I'm gonna take one wire and I'm gonna wrap it around two times in front of the stone. And then I'm gonna take the other wire and I'm gonna wrap it around two times behind the stone. So that's what it's gonna look like on the bottom. You should have four wraps on the bottom. And then I've got my two wires sticking out on either side of the stone. And I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to pinch all the wires together just like that. And then you need to take these wires and wrap them around underneath your stone. So I'm going to take one side and wrap it one time and then I'm going to take the other side and wrap it two times. And I'll still have a little bit of wire coming out either side. At this point I'm going to make sure none of my wires are crossing. Hate to have your wires crossed, right? And then I'm gonna pull that off the ring stick because I've essentially got my ring formed. And then I'm gonna take these two little wires and I'm gonna finish the ring off by wrapping them around the sides. So you're gonna take this wire and you're gonna push through the center of the ring and then pull the wire out the other side, making sure you get it nice and tight right here. And then you're gonna wrap it around again, push it through and pull. And then your third time, you're gonna push it through and we're gonna take a flush cutter and we're gonna trim that off underneath. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Push it through and wrap. And the reason I'm pushing it through like this instead of trying to poke it through and pull is that you get a tighter wrap right here if you do it that way. And it's also just a lot easier. So I'm just gonna wrap it around and push through and then pull, like so. And see how nice and tight those three wraps are. It looks really clean, it looks really good. And we're gonna take this flush cutter and clip off the wire underneath. And then you wanna make sure to take your chain nose plier and just compress those wires on the inside so that you don't feel them when you wear the ring. And then last step is you wanna put that back on the ring mandrel and you wanna push it up to the size you were going for. So you see I was going for a size seven. So I'm just a little under that, so I'm just gonna push the ring up to the size seven and kind of stretch it. And I'm gonna go the other direction, same thing, and stretch it, and voila, it is ready to go, ready to wear. 
so I can put it on my finger, just like that. I know what you're thinking, that was so easy and you're about ready to go make a million rings, right? But don't forget what you need. You're gonna have to have some 20 gauge wire, a bead or gemstone, and a few tools like a ring stick, a flush cutter, and your chain nose plier. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to pick up some supplies like the ones we worked with today, check out the links down below. Are there some more complicated rings you'd like to learn about? Tell me about it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.